boy, that last episode. We need to finish what we oh, that was a happening, wasn't it? Jesus. Oh, I have things. Yeah, you can do stuff now. My distillery. The squirt Actually, cider, did, the dread rum. Did you, did you like the happening? The happening? It's a movie. I don't even think I've seen it. Yeah, it stars uh, Mark Wahlberg. No, I don't think I've seen it. Mark Wahlberg, one of the best actors known to grace mankind. Oh, is that, is that the case? Good old Marky Mark. Marky Mark. I overfilled my water glass too much. Look at this, Dave. Can you see it? Yep. Look at how high that is. Why would you? Don't. <laughs> you fucking dare. Yeah, let's do that. Dev! Absolute schmuck heel. Yeah. Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Yeah. Actually, I, really? I think it was. Um, I think it was the happening, but it could have been a different movie. It was a Mark Wahlberg movie, and it was a movie where, like, Mark Mark Wahlberg later admitted that he knew the movie was so bad, he purposefully overacted it. Like he was, he was the killer in the movie, and he was accused of killing somebody, and it was he was still trying to hold his cover, so he just goes, "What?" No! Like, it was the most overacted possible fucking thing. I don't think that's the happening. I thought that was some... Uh. Give me something else. Yeah, give me something else. He plays a, a, um, a psychotic boyfriend, doesn't he? Uh, I don't... Dude, it's been so fucking long. I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm thinking of. It's been so fucking long. Yeah, he, uh, he's, he's quite young. He's like early 90s. He, play, he plays this, this boyfriend. Oh, no! This psychotic boyfriend in the movie. And people thought it was, like, he did really well. Huh. Yeah, he, he can't act when he puts his mind to it. It was an M. Night Shamwow movie. Shamwow? Shamwow. Shamalama Ding Dong. No, but he, he, he played he played something similar then in an earlier yeah. movie. And I just can't remember what the hell it was called. I do I do like to see um I do like to see one last shot. Like big it's name actors who can act place. really well. Yeah. And they just act shit for fun. Yeah. It's so fun to see it, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, like, like Dennis Hopper in, in Black Dahlia. <laughs> oh, that was him phoning it in. Just chewing on the scenery. Yep. Oh, gosh. Mark, if they come from Hanoi, I have the urge to destroy Wahlberg. Day two afternoon. Oh yeah. We never wanted to go to war again. Wanted to rule it out. Bam. Wait, they were gonna make a Pepe movie? What happened? Did the internet kill that? Probably to me, probably. Yeah. Also, like, hasn't Nick Cage won awards for his acting, and yet he's known as being like one of the shittiest yes, actors of all time? Because he has a really bad habit of buying castles. Buying castles? What? Put a lot of folks against that problem. I'm not joking. He he so bought a castle. He bought multiple castles. <laughs> Why? Because he's really bad with money. <laughs> so he just takes like any fucking job he can. Yeah, pretty much. Sought solutions far beyond the city. The travel near as far as the kids go for right now. This is a strange ending, isn't it? Like, why are we going between these different worlds? I don't know. Because it's sexy. I guess. Has there ever been, like, an actor who hasn't had a bad movie? No. Like, everything, every, like, actor no. or actress, everything they've done has been, like, just gold? No, 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 no. Every actress has done something shitty. Uh, to be fair, I think Christopher Walken. No, Chris Rock has definitely been shit. No, he hasn't. Most of our efforts didn't really? It's all been great. Dev, can you name you one bad, bad... Balls of Steel? Yeah, great movie. The movie's terrible. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny, but it's it's pretty bad. Excellent fucking movie. <laughs> I wonder if people who make, like, really shit movies know what they're making. They're oh, like, yeah. Um, fucking. Sometimes they're out of their mind in terms of... Some of those are out of their mind in terms of you know what they're capable of doing, but um, I think I like to think that most people like just looking at what they're doing, going, yeah, that's an Alan Smithy role, <laughs> an Alan Smithy production. Yeah. To be fair, um, the guy that played Snape, Alan Rickman. Yeah, Alan Rickman. Yeah, he hasn't had a bad role. 
Uh, you would, I think if you look through his filmography, you would see that he's done stuff that's not Did so Mel great. Gibson ever do a shit movie? Yes. Was it the, uh, the, the police body cam footage of him getting pulled over? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> and him well, being yeah, all I mean, yes, I mean, yes, <laughs> but also no. Uh, didn't Mel Gibson do What Women Want? <laughs> Hold on. Mel Gibson has done Didn't shit. Didn't he do Romper Stomper? <laughs> Bob <laughs> Hopkins knew the Super Mario Brothers script and directors were garbage and was drunk most of the time. Yeah, he, he and John were, were, were drunk constantly. Well, dude, um, fucking Daniel Radcliffe was drunk during uh, Half-Blood Prince. He wasn't, like, no, no, he said, drinking on the set? No, he said, like, he, he, he was, like, still half drunk from the night before. Yeah, he, he... I remember seeing an interview where he said that he did not... He does not remember filming... Half Blood Prince. Well, the, the thing is that the one he was so the drunk. one scene, the one scene that they they were okay with him being like still half the bag for, yeah. was when he would taken the uh, Felix Felicis. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the luck potion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like that whole scene because he's acting like he's drunk. Yeah. He's like, okay, well, this is this is fine. Yeah. And yes, White Ninja, tell us what's going on because, like, I have. I know we've been talking, like, joking around in this playthrough. I've watched it. I've, I pay attention enough to, to, to notice that we've been rebuilding the Bastion, and we've been getting people back, and yet there's also this other force that's been out to try and exterminate us. And we've been, like, and we just got fucked by them. His name was Trogdor. And also somebody that was with us and betrayed us. Never to be used, they said. Yeah, Zolf. Yeah. So I've been, I've been following most of it, but I don't quite know why we're in this constantly changing world right now. That would have taken plus a minute. Um, well, probably doing more more side, side quests, quests and yeah. stuff, but also just paying more attention. Hasn't Bruce Willis been in like all good stuff? No. Sure he has. No, he wasn't. He was in that shit. Wasn't he in like that that shitty Kevin Smith movie, uh -huh. Ride Along or something? How about the guy who played Superman's dad? Kevin Costner. Yeah. Waterworld, Postman. <laughs> Listen, Waterworld was fucking excellent, okay? Waterworld was so panned. It was an amazing movie. and I an mean, Dude, it was an amazing like Virtual Boy game. Dev, <laughs> no one's ever said those words unironically. <laughs> In all of life. Um, I played Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people back when it came out. Like on the Wii. It was on the Wii. I have I it, it, but I, I haven't played much of it. Yeah. I remember from Waterworld that he drank pee. Yeah, he recycled, he recycled urine in, in, in the boat. Okay, understood, White Ninja. Thank you. Virtual Boy and Amazing should be in the same sentence. But why not? Because it, it gives sabotage, you a headache. The but answers, the science project. Well, Set it to blow up in their faces. It just gives you a headache, okay? <laughs> That's it. That's all I remember. Man, the headaches. I want, like, Waterworld to be rebooted. What? Well, just like make it, like, just do, just, just make another movie called Waterworld. It's like, it's like a, it's like a hard reboot. No, no, they and, won't and even then, do a movie. And, they, they do, they do a, a show. And then they could make it into like the trilogy it was always meant to be. The shitty trip, dude. Can you imagine the Waterworld cinematic universe, dude? You know that they, they, they legit just make a, a TV show. They no, no, Waterworld cinematic universe. Yeah, they do that. Oh my god, I just killed one by forcing off a cliff. No, they, they would do that. Like, have you seen the okay, the, the Chucky movies, the Child's Play movies, have been turned into a t into a show, and it's kind of shit. Have you seen the new screenshots from it? Where like Chucky no. says, uh, he Chucky apparently respects uh, non-binary gender identities, despite being you know a murderous monster. <sighs> I am. Not you ever heard about that? <laughs> well, I, I just saw it and I gave up. <laughs> but I saw it, I mean, um... Too bad they no. ain't exactly been willing to collaborate on that front. Fuck you Did he fucking take it? He did. That dick. Also, who is that one black guy? No, I was thinking Wesley Snipes, but it's not Wesley Snipes. Denzel Washington. I was gonna, I was gonna say Kevin Hart, but that's fine. Denzel Washington. What about he, him? He's done like no good, no bad movies. 
Um, I'm sure he's done some 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 clunkers in his day. Like, think of even one. I don't know. I don't know that many. <laughs> you didn't react to me saying that one, Black. <laughs> I'm used. To the fact that I didn't is a sad, sad sign. It's like half a billion black guys. Different to be more specific. Yeah, sorry about that. For now. Well, you, it could have been Sidney Poitier. Pick up mm. when the calamity left. I mean, that guy could act. Hasn't Sandra Bullock been in like nothing but good movies? No, no, she's been in some terrible movies. <laughs> like what? First things first, though. Um, I don't know. <laughs> fucking <laughs> the proposal. <laughs> he was in Speed Two, based. Yeah, that's also shit. It's like fuck. Are you kidding me? Okay, Keanu Reeves. Every movie he's been in has been gold. He wasn't in Speed Two. That was the whole point. But still, every movie Keanu Reeves has been in has been yeah, gold. Yeah, but <laughs> well, yeah, because. Keanu. No so name a movie he's been in that hasn't been good. Come on. Keanu? Keanu. Oh, n none. He's amazing. Yeah. So there you go. I, I told you I could find one. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, fine. But I, I'm clearly biased. So, you know, that wasn't exactly the search for something October there. something we had to there. do before going after that last shard. Makes sense. I wait, Ninja. Bill and Ted 3. That was a good movie. It was okay. It, <laughs> was, it, wasn't, it wasn't nearly as good as the first two. No, it wasn't. But it's okay. Matrix sequels, ugh. They were good movies. Uh, yeah, only because he was in them that were they any good. Yeah, Speed was actually good. The, the bus, yeah. dude. That was actually a good movie. I really enjoyed you said, Speed. You said Speed 2, jackass. Uh, the chat said Speed 2. Oh, well. But Speed 1 was actually a good movie. Like, I don't know if you think so, but I think so. I think it was a good movie. Um... I actually haven't seen it. Are you fucking kidding me? No. This is like a Naomi level reaction here. Not really, because that was one of those movies I wouldn't have been allowed to watch they back in the day, coming. dude. There's a you, lot you, of did, 90s movies did I had. You, did you never... I never got around to watching no, 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 no. What I mean is, did you never disobey your parents? <laughs> well, yeah, I know every turn, but... Because I, mean, I did. <laughs> it's like, Devin, you can't it's play it's Resident it's Evil. Time. Yes, I can. Watch me. <laughs> Yeah, and I did. <laughs> uh, I was a younger kid, so I was less I was less likely to be defiant towards my parents. Boom. Boom. Yeah, Spew wasn't even violent, dude. <laughs> to be fair, though, your parents were fucked. They were very conservative. Your parents. No offense to your parents, dude. But but they um, didn't have fucking brains in their heads, and they still kind of don't. Found a way to keep the calamity from spreading. I wouldn't say they're so stupid. Long. They're just okay. Not stupid. But they like they lack like the faculty of reason. When it comes to especially when it comes to like they're intelligent and educated, but they're automata. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They have their own security and everything. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you too, asshole. Oh, oh, dude, don't worry. My parents are actually dumb. <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop mincing words. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dad, this is why I don't want to be around you when I'm in our hometown. Because you're a jackass. Because <laughs> <laughs> you actually go to people's parents and go, you're, by the way, you're all fucking NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> Their grandchild can only play video games on a rainy day. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. That's, uh, the talk you're talking about um, Dave's sister's kid? Good old Uncle Dave. Yep. Can only play video games on a rainy day. That sounds like an awful existence. I feel sorry for that kid. Um, they're willing to to have her play games with with Dom and I. Yeah, still though. <laughs> Are you known as Anti Dom? Not yet. Why not? I'm not married yet. So what? I don't know. I never <laughs> really. Shows just how to be much honest, you're, you're, to be you're honest, devoted to your I wasn't, I wasn't the one. That's I wasn't the, the one. I think. I think. Like <laughs> my sister always just said, "Dom says an anti Dom." I'm like, "Oh my god!" All right, yeah. Oh, I'm, like, I'm not gonna like, tumors, correct anyone right now. In the yeah, like your dad is educated and very smart. Yep, but he's also like oblivious to the world around him at times. Meanwhile, your mom is educated and very smart. But she's also like a fucking reactionary. Well, the Europe no, a not even a reactionary. Not even like I'm not using that, not even that, using that word in, in a non-political sense. She's like a, she's like a robot. I don't even call her a robot. She's too angry. She's too, way too angry to yeah, be a robot. She, she, she's not. She's not like, like like a data style, no emotions robot. I mean like 
she's the underlying circuitry that governs all the things that she does is incredibly simple and, and you can really gamify it yeah no self-awareness you can like i bet if i say this exact combination of words to dave's mom she will react in this way and she always does without fail every single time yeah yeah meanwhile my mom is a very nice kind generous and very not smart woman <laughs> it's the truth it's the truth and then meanwhile my dad is actually like he he has like a reasonably good head on his shoulders but he but he also has a, has a mean streak so but anyway like your, your parents your your parents do they just seem to have like that like Maybe I'm smart. Maybe I actually am smarter than my parents. Kind of, kind of vibe. You know what I mean? I, f I figure that like, you, you, you probably should have been like that. It's like, I don't know what this. <laughs> Maybe. Which is why I thought you might, you might have, um, like, rebelled against them a little bit more when you were younger. I, I definitely did my own way. I just, um, but like, when, I was, when I was very young, I was, I was, okay. I would, I would go, I would go to friends' places and watch movies there. It just, I just yeah. didn't happen to watch Speed. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Like I, I saw True Lies. Yeah. I watched Beavis and Butthead. Nah, yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot. Um, you played video games at my house. Yeah. And you weren't allowed to, but you did. Well, no, I, no, I. What? I was allowed to. I was allowed to play video games. No, I, just, I know that, but like, like you weren't allowed to play as much as, as I as I did. No. Like, your well, parents did not like that. Your parents didn't like me. <laughs> yeah, you were retarded as a kid. Like actually retarded. Yeah. <laughs> as, if, as if it's suddenly just the, the right thing to do. Yeah, Dave rebelled the hangout pretty much. Yeah, like I said this before on the channel, but fuck it. Um, in that box of things that I got back from my parents, or, or my mom was like, "Listen, take this stuff, or we're getting rid of it." Included in that box was a bunch of my old uh, schoolwork, and in the schoolwork were like my old tests from like grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. Um, and I was looking back at it and it was exactly as I remember it being. I got perfect on everything all the time and I never studied and I never did homework. I was just the fucking gifted child. So I just was bored out of my fucking mind at school all day. I was rambunctious as fuck because I shouldn't have been in those classes. And I just like, I don't fucking need to study this shit. I'm going to play video games. And so I would all the time. and. I'd be like, Dave, come play video games. And you're just like, but it'll destroy my life. And I'm like, no, it won't. Look at me. <laughs> so you can understand why Dad was not very well liked by a lot of people. <laughs> and it explains why people are still kind of biased against him, you know, simply to the fact that. Oh, yeah, Dom, you've seen the box. Do you like that artwork on the top of it? <laughs> like, that artwork was drawn when I was like five. It's like, I think, I think it's like an artwork of like a car or something. It's in the kitchen. You've seen it, eh? Yeah. yeah. Are we budget Aaron and Danny? We're not groomers, though, so... But thanks, Moth. Says P Pedo Devo. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Danny who actually fucking talked to an underager until she was of age and then fucked her, alright? <laughs> like, I didn't, actually, I didn't actually do that shit. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> you know, I rejected Naomi for like over a fucking year. All right, for a, for a damn good reason. Not young enough. Favorite better, Aaron and Danny. Is that us? Keep hanging on. To Fever, you have like the, the, the Danny hair though. Yeah, home right now. Much fun. That's right. Yeah, man. Danny sex bang the white. This is a nice couch, dude. I do miss the old one though, don't you? No. What do you mean? Why not? Because it's not like red. It was fucking amazing. What are you talking about? It's because you obsess over things from the past. Because I don't know. Actually, don't know why. I don't know why you're so obsessive over things in the past. I really don't. Because you go play the shitty games to suck ass. And I'd rather have a buffalo. Yes, our people cause the calamity. Hey, you're not Christopher Walken singing the ABG. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you, boy? I wanted to see what you were going to say before I kept going with I, it. I had a feeling. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. 
Jewish anyway because she was Jewish. Yeah, I made I made her convert away from Judaism. Is that is that like a giant um artichoke? Or hops? Ah! Really think we just turn around and walk away? Ah, the good. opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Boom. Okay. I was aiming for Dev to make an AVGN joke. <laughs> Always. Always. Oh God. Do you not have a melee weapon right now? Oh, Jesus, that sucks. I considered it. I just. Here's the thing. I, I know, like, you were very religious when you were younger. Old, old, old. I wasn't stupid old religious. Man. I was no. like average religious. But I recall you like not not understanding my position of being not religious. And you just didn't say anything until we were like teenagers when you were no longer religious. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, why didn't you tell me before? And you were just like, I don't know. Told him everything. Oh, I hadn't figured it out yet. Well, yeah, but like when you were a kid, I remember you saying at one point, okay, when we were in high school, you said that when you were a kid, you felt weird about having a friend who was an atheist. Probably did at one point. Yeah. And I was like, why? And you're like, I don't know. I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, because I was, well, was, he was one of those used to. Yeah. Dave was a bigot when he was a child. It's from the uh, fucking atheist. SMH my head. I don't, I don't take this from filthy atheists. Filthy atheists? Yes, right. Oh my god, Dave. How Me? fucking dare don't say, you? Don't say my lord's name in vain. You don't even believe in him. <laughs> Do your parents ever give you flack for not being religious not really. anymore? Nah. No? Nah, they come to grips with the fact that I'm gonna burn in hell or something. Is your sister religious? <laughs> not really. No? no? So I guess like all their fucking kids are, well, and grandkids are going to hell. Us. There's two of us, so. But what I mean is like, like they, they are the final part of their family line that will go to heaven. That will be saved. Uh, according to that shit, yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. No. Dev's fedora is showing. <laughs> Way out there on the edge of the world. That's where he finally In a world. finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. You left. Oh, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the That's nuker. To your own people. Let's fucking launch the nuke. I want to launch you. <laughs> It's like my, my life's work, build a rocket strong to enough to thrust him into the strass here and then explode. In any case, I, I think that's why I spent so much time on video games when I was younger. It's just because I didn't I didn't have I'm just bored. And not not so much boredom, but rather I didn't need to spend it on anything else. There are some kids who are like studying every night and doing homework. I didn't need to do any of that. So I was like, what do I want to do? I'm like four years old. Play Super Nintendo. It wasn't even out before. Did you call the Super Nintendo when, when it wasn't existing? Um, well, the point being, like, the kid's gonna have to face that I was also again. too stupid to understand what video games were. That explains a lot. Well, no, like, okay, what was the, here? Actually, here, here's a great, here's a great, um, here's a great example or a great discussion on this. What was the first video game you ever actually completed? Like, saw the saw the credits. I'm done. Kirby. Kirby. And how old were you? Um. Eight or nine, something like that. Okay. So for me, I played a lot of games when I was younger, but I actually didn't conceive of the possibility that a game could end until probably about nine years old. Before that, I played a lot of video games, but it's like, yeah, Mario Three just goes forever, right? And obviously it doesn't. But like, I could, I wasn't good enough to get to get any further than like the third or fourth world. Yeah. He aimed to throw it all away. Yes, had that a lot. And also, video game cartridges were called tapes, Monusco. Yeah. But yeah, like, eventually I got to the point where I could actually beat Mario World all the way through, and I was like, oh, you actually fight Bowser. Oh, did the game have an end? It doesn't just go on forever, like with infinite looping le levels, like a lot of older games? Oh, okay. Does it, like, oh. 
Oh, there's credits. Someone made this game, and they have weird, like, Asian-sounding names. You know, as a kid, you didn't fucking know anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. The, like the discovery that games wasn't the first were actually the crafted by people and not just born, like parts of the just world. born from the robots themselves. Well, no, no, no. Like, okay, no, 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 no. Okay. What's way to put this? When you explore out in a forest in real life, you can find anything out there, right? Like, who knows? You could, like, because there's there's like an old ancient car wreck from the 1940s in the forest behind my house. Remember that shit? Yep. Yeah. So you can find anything out in the forest, really. And video games felt the same way. Like they didn't feel like they were crafted experiences when we were kids because we were young and stupid. They felt like actual areas of the world that were just in portable form that you could explore and find things in. They had secrets, you know? It was a world into itself. And then when you get old enough to actually beat a game for the first time, you're like, oh no, it's actually like a crafted experience. And then you become old and jaded and then you hate the world and you get drunk every day and you beat your wife and you rape your kids and you're a terrible human being. But when what you're fuck, but, but, but when you're younger and you're pure, Dev, video Dev games, has an interest in you. Video, <laughs> video games. You want to write that. Look at this fucking chest. <laughs> okay, when you're younger and you're like and you're more innocent, video games don't feel like they're they're created for the sake of playing. They feel like they're their own world. Does that make sense? You know what I'm getting at? You don't see that. You don't care about the bones. Yes. You don't. You don't care about how. how you don't care about how the sausage is made. Does that make it? it make any sense to anybody? Fuck. And Dev teaches sex ed to a bunch of five. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. There's nothing you can say that is not gonna make me make fun of you. <laughs> like I, I, I have to. I like this. This must be done. Yeah. Makes sense to you. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Basically, the idea that that a game is not a crafted experience, but it is a part, it, it is a world unto itself that could have different things happen in it. Like you could talk to the NPC, and it could do something different, even though as an adult you realize it's programmed, and they say certain things at certain times, and it's scripted. We've already talked to NPCs, Dev. My parents, apparently. <laughs> okay, but I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. I understand you're a piece of shit. How the fuck, Dave? In what way? Every every way possible. Yeah, I think you're just bitter about this because I had I had these thoughts when I was a kid, and you were just like, "Video game, go beat." <laughs> I'm, I'm happier being me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope I'm making some kind of sense here. No, you're just reminding me why I'm glad I'm leaving. The I I didn't get a Nintendo Power till later on in life. Yeah. It's because children have trouble distinguishing fantasy from reality. Yes, that is definitely part of it. Definitely part of it. Basically, I recall being very young, like way too young to understand what and like, like what stats were in an RPG. And I played Lufia One, and the game really interested me. And I thought the, the story was really interesting, but I couldn't. I didn't know how how to play it. I didn't like. I was too young to understand what turn-based combat was. I was too young to understand like how 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 grinding worked in an RPG. You, you know what I mean? I didn't get it. I had to come back to Lufia when I was a little bit older and be like, oh, oh, now I understand. It's that sort of thing. Where like, like eventually I realized that that games have an end, and they and they do have like an optimal method of play. And you know, paradoxically, as soon as I realized that games actually got a lot easier. If that makes sense. Nothing you say makes sense. Like, ever. Are you just fucking being a bitch right now? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just speaking for the you know, humanity in general. <laughs> Mini Dev's brain go burr. Yeah. Here's the thing. Pokemon was baby's first yeah, RPG, though. Like, Pokemon's really made simple compared to a game like Lufia. Lufia's full of, like, dungeons with mazes and really hard fucking fights. Um, Pokemon is literally, like, straight path to the boss. Everything's kind of cutesy. It's one-on-one -on -one combat always. You know exactly, like, the, the, the type chart is very laid out. Like, Pokemon is, like, basically the game that you play to learn how to play Japanese RPGs when you're, like, five years old. It's not actually a complicated game whatsoever. Ceylonia to know the era had changed.
Yeah, exactly. All Conway's Arena knows, knows what I'm saying. I did it with Dragon Warrior. For like the first two years of owning that game, I always just ran from the monsters because obviously you can't fight more than two or three of them without dying, so don't do it. And you spend your entire game running from monsters and you don't level up. Like, yeah, there's there are rules to RPGs that you can't easily intuit as a child. Meanwhile, if you're a child playing Mario Brothers, you can easily intuit it. You run, you jump, you get items. You know, like it's very simple in comparison. I gotta have a conversation with chat because Dave is simultaneously too busy getting his butt raped. He's, and when I do ask him to talk about it, he gets mad at me. Because you suck. I'm not the one currently sucking. Fuck you! <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Sniped! Oh, I hate you. Oh, never mind, I'm still alive. Hey, you still have like two chances, dude. No cursing challenge. Here we go. Don't swear, Dave. The journey was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. No cursing, Dave. Anyway, I had a... Uh, I had a point to this that I kind of he forget what it was, but it was something along the lines of I spent more time on video games and, ha and learned some of the, some of the, the 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 deeper secrets of how to play when I was younger because I didn't have to spend time on on school because I was ultra mega smart. I was big brain young Devo. Yeah, you still act like a moron. And well, it's also because like. I think I didn't realize that you and other friends weren't like that, because I was like, let's go play! And they were just like, I gotta do work. Yeah. I was like, what work? It's okay, Dave. You are now reaping the fruits of my of my genius as an adult. I'm glad to share them with you. I'm, I'm a generous soul. I'm glad to get away from you. I'm a general? Okay, well, then you don't gotta get paid. <laughs> Young lady it's worth it if I don't listen to you talk with your fucking child. Ah, uh, <laughs> you swore! Oh, crap! Guess what? Time restarts. Can't believe this. I'll blame the chat. It's all your fault. Yeah. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be real cheeky. I'm gonna be real cheeky. Ah. This is why I'm the CEO of the company. Because I don't blame the chat. I, 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 take, I take responsibility. Don't worry about it. Let me stop trolling you. Could you, like, want for once? Please? All right. Absolute jack and ape of a man. You make sure you don't swear. You have a, you have a minute 30. Okay, I won't, I, won't, I won't troll Dave anymore. Got to stretch. It's stretch time. Ugh. Uh, she just stretch all those cockles out, or however it goes. I don't know. Dave, please troll Dev. <laughs> Making Dave actually angry on stream. Moth, you haven't been here that long. If you don't think we do, we get each other angry all the time. Mostly Dev. Naomi gets me angry quite a bit though. Naomi gets me angry quite a bit on the stream. And to be fair, I will I will what? rage at some games too. Wait. You 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 get her angry. All That's time. yes yes yes. I'm, I might also I might also just be like uh, less flappable than you guys. You know. Does that makes sense. Yeah. Because you're soulless. <laughs> no, because I'm soulless. That's exactly what it is. It's just because I I don't know I'm. Nice nice prediction. Yeah, two charge weapons just asking for failure, yeah. These are awful weapons for this. Were you forced to do it? With his long no. Night. <laughs> so you just chose this nonsense? I didn't know what I was expecting. Alright. Swear counter's done, good job. Five reflections, Jesus.
Oh my god. Okay, you can just bugger off right now. Yeah. That story don't end well anyway. These guys are such fucking dicks. You, you can swear now, it's okay. Yeah, no, I, I know. No, you know what? No. Fuck this shit. This is a stupid, stupid mission. It just, it drags, which is why I have been doing the side quest stuff, because I think it's garbage. I know, Tidge, I know. It's just really annoying. I failed to learn the level up two levels per town idea. I played Final Fantasy X without grinding at all, got stuck like two or three points. Yeah, a lot of the older SNES RPGs, you, you really had to, like, put the story on hold for half an hour or an hour and, like, just grind. Get a couple more levels on your guys so yep. you could actually be good to go ahead. Yeah. To be fair, though, like, Final Fantasy VI is actually pretty well balanced that you don't really have to grind. If you just play the game normally, you'll be in a good position for most bosses. I can't pretty well balanced. All anymore. Oh, shit. I too far this. away. Why? Isn't this space you have to go? No, but I, I should have chosen better weapons. <laughs> oh, God, be Dave. Right. Can you just leave right now? Nope. Can't. Just just press start and go exit. From Zolf and come on home. Fine, we, we have auto saves. <laughs> it's the final mission. I think, I think I should go back to the shotgun hammer combo. Shotgun hammer? Yep. Yeah, dude. Would you rather hammer your dick or shotgun it? Shut up. Just <laughs> shut your whore mouth for once in your <laughs> goddamn life. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously. Uh, Avalon, do you remember that huge-ass player's guide that came with Earthbound? I have one, you fuck. My sister actually filled out one of those tickets in the smelling contest. That's kind of funny. Smelling contest? Yeah, man. Skyway. Let's try this. Come on then, come on then. It's loading up. Give it a give it a, a bit of patience. Give it a go. No telling where the kid is now. Kid. The kid. <laughs> Tidster, Tidster, Hades. Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot. Yep. The calamity hit the Tazel terminals hardest of all. Oh fuck me. Oh no. This is how it begins, isn't it? Yeah, the shotgun only, only deals six damage, man. Like, it's not doing very well. I think you need a different weapon. You know why it's old from back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Uh, listen, Bruce Nee. Earthbound is my favorite game of all time, and you should play it. Yeah, man. It's it's an old game and it's hard to play, but it's it's worth it in my opinion. That sounds great. Jeez, you're getting raped. It's pretty hard, man. Looks like it's the last friggin' boss. No, I understand. It's just that you're getting raped. You know what's well, funny? Well. So, you've beaten this game before, you said, right? Nope. No, really? Yeah. Well, maybe you would have uh, recognized this level as being the final level. Nope. Well, I've never oh. beaten it. How far did you get? <laughs> Nowhere near this far. Really? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So, wait, wait. You bought this game twice and never even beat it? Yep. Why? I, I had a lot of games around that I wanted to play. and. Shit happens. Life gets in the way. Life finds a way. Do people still prefer SNES 9X over ZSNES? Because I remember as as a youngster always using ZSNES. And I still have my old copy of ZSNES from like 15 years ago. Me too. Cause like, like why bother upgrading? Like it, it worked perfectly, you know? 
See, you're just dealing three damage. I no, but I think you need like a, like a better. Look rainbow. around. There's not much left to do here in the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each Any story? Nesticle was uh, for the NES, not SNES. Yep. But I think like if people who are like downloading modern emulators today, they should be grabbing SNES 9X. SNES 9X runs a few more games more accurately, and even that's not great. B SNES and High Gunner, where it's at for better speed and accuracy. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, see, Shogoth, um, I emulated so long ago that when I did, you can still find old form posts on the internet from like 98 online, right? 1998. Where if you're playing Chrono Trigger, you can play the game normally on ZSNES, but as soon as you get to uh, that one dome in the future where you have to go down into the basement and get and find like the rotting seeds and, and fight like the security system. Protodome? No. Harris Dome? Uh, I don't know which one it was. Let's see. Yeah. It was the one where you had to There's get rid of the seeds. You know, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you'd walk in and the game would be unplayable because all you would see is a screen full of mist. Because ZSNES hadn't properly discovered how to do um, all the, the, the particles. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, tr um, uh, transparency properly. And so you had to like program the emulator to, to disable a certain layer because it couldn't do that either. And there was like instructions on forms from in back in 1998 on how to like disable certain layers. And then like it was a big thing, a huge thing when they were like. ZSNES, we finally discovered how to do transparency properly. Now you can play Chrono Trigger, no problem, guys. It was like, oh my god, thank you. Like, it was, people were like just praising these dudes. And now it's like so trivial, you know? No, I, I am partially paying attention, White Ninja. But the point is only partial. Zelandia will be whole again. Basically, it's a race war. This game is a treatise on why diversity doesn't work. <laughs> I'm very glad I put that one that one liquor on. Nice, good job. Problem is, into the vortex. Is it time? So much you know, Demi Muffin. I'm a, I'm a white belt kind of guy. Die. It's more like uh, own all of this. <laughs> just stop. Things will go back to the way they used to be. We're rejecting the new normal. You guys seem fucking annoying. They are. You have a lot of experience, though. Nice. Will you have more level up before you get to the boss, you think? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You're just like, eating all the bullets, dude. He almost knocked her off. The way things were bitch. before this story. You follow me? Um. Oh, there's a health over there, too. Yeah. You'll be your old self again. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. Really funny. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Andrew. Sorry. What? It's just funny hearing all the all the sound effects in the background. Yeah. 
Oh, like, oh, oh no, no, it's like, you know, you, like, you really don't give a shit. Just, and that's like the one thing about the, the, the narration being such a huge part of the game, mm -hmm. is that it kind of drowns out a lot of this, like, the in-world stuff. Yeah. Well, that was that was a big problem with, um, what other game did that? Mad World. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, except... Oh, you're getting oh. fucked. It's fine. I believe I, I have killed him. I think I'd do the legitimate teleport off the edge. Imagine if you could have another go at him. Thump. Oh, I better get going. No mistakes. Oh god, there's so much shit. Anyone you've ever heard. He just falls? Ah, what an idiot. Wait, when did you get the ability to jump? Everything you've ever done, you could do it over. And wouldn't that be grand? Why? Wouldn't you? Why would they introduce a new ability this, this late in the game? I don't know. Games have progressed so much now, you can have your party plus a narrator plus a random walking NPC what the fuck? all interrupt each other. Ugh. So annoying. Yeah, I can see that. I guess there's nothing more to say. I've been talking all game, though. The fuck? Didn't you heal? I tried! Maybe you can't do it while you're jumping. Apparently not. Uh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Oh, man, I, I don't know who you're kidding, you, but I know this is fucking bullshit. Look. There's something else. Something you gotta know. A confession. I'm your father. Shit. In other words, I fucked your mom. <laughs> In other words, I am your mom. <laughs> How come I know so much about the Bastion? Oh god, this shitty ass isometric well, platforming. God, what a thing to add right at the end. Right? <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> the background looks like a Mario uh, Mario Galaxy planet. There's one problem with the place that's Now there's a game we gotta play at some point. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. It's better than this shit. Ba, 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 ba. I applaud the game. I applaud this game for what for what it brought at the time, but it is not aged the greatest. Yeah. So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. What's to stop it from happening again after the Bastion does its thing? I don't know. Frankly, I don't know if I care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is. Uh, I don't know. Just shoot each other in a crossfire? Like idiots? Probably. Star foxing it. Yeah, <laughs> stuff. Looks clunky than hates the transistor. Yeah, I can see that. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. It well, I mean it was the first the first major release they, they had, right? So You're wondering if there ain't some other way out of this mess. It's alright. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless... Unless you wanted to stay here... With us. That jumping honestly looks like shit. It's... It's okay. I've, I've done worse. <laughs> what are the worst controls in any game you've ever played? Ooh. Ooh, that's a very good question. Well, that's sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. I'll have to get back to you on that. See, I kind of want to say Sonic 06, but there's no way it is, because even though like, I loved um, American McGee's Alice, but it had worse controls than Sonic 06. Wow. Well, it's also <laughs> older, too. Yes, it is. The weight of the calamity. It's on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. 
Just hit him with a giant ram. Okay. Slam. Slam. Come on and slam. Bastion <laughs> does have another function. Strictly speaking. Nope. That's melee weapon. Yeah. Uh, being slow kind of sucks, though. Oh. Yeah, baby. What do you do with this thing? I don't know. I mean, I can't leave. Can't go to these other spots. I recall. You wanted to play this game on the channel when it was new. Like, it was 2012, and you're like, you wanna play Bastion? I was like, yeah, we'll play in a bit. We'll get around to it. Fuck you. Like, 10 years later, we finally uh, fucking Don't remind me of why, of why I despise you. So the first episode that we ever did was recorded. It was recorded on July, July 1st, 1st 2011. 2011? That was 2012. Nope. It's 2012. It's 2012. Right, sorry, it was 2012. Yeah, it was 20, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. it didn't come out until winter 2012. Yeah. Hey, Demi Muffin. Apparently, you go it's left, like the smash the rocks. And we couldn't repair it. We could still evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we'd detonate the cores. And we'd take off away from here. Oh. Well. <laughs> Just owned. Yep, you're done. Hit him with a big fucking totem. <laughs> Dave would round up as much alcohol as he could carry. <laughs> For disinfecting purposes. Get some of that first run moonshine. <laughs> and, and if you're living in a world like this, you might as well blind yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> just drink it down. Come on, Dave. I've got I've got Daddy's medicine here. Dev just, will just run up all the youngins. Drink up all the secret sauce. Yeah, Dev. Dev Dev's gonna. I'm gonna just no, I'm drinking the so sauce to to, to disinfect my mind from Dev flag. rounding up the youngins. Oh God! Oh God! They're all here, dude. Use the use the big move. Just the fucking corpses. Flatten these dudes oh, like yeah. one hit. Zolf and the Ura. All they want now is to see the Bastion fall. Great. I'm just. Hold on. Just I got to take the wrong way, long way around. Last in peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. Should probably drink. <laughs> Dev is the reason Dev drinks. <laughs> yep. I don't know, dude. Dave's the kind of guy that would like get a syringe full of whiskey and then just like inject it into his gums with a needle. Dev. This isn't this isn't House of Cards. It's, it's okay because I do that with Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> use a big move. Use a big move. Yeah. Well, you didn't even hit that guy over there. Oh, there's a, there's a shard though. Yeah, I know. It's gonna go with my uh, my evil Dev. Blood. Yes, Maverick Hunter. You fuck. You fucker. Maverick Hunter, you fucking traitor. I can't fucking believe you. All the shit you've done to me over the years, Maverick Hunter. I've put up with your shit for far too long. <laughs> Just post a happy emote. <laughs> Resolve, this ain't a personal matter. I did research today, which tea goes with the job Oh, tell me about it. What's going on? Give me all the information. Be a nice guy. 
Be the nicest possible guy. Be a Mother Teresa about it, Torvar. Mother Teresa wasn't that nice. Actually, I heard about that later. Same with Gandhi, actually. Yep. He ended up being a dick, too. It ain't a simple matter Man, what the hell? Use your Mega. Oh, you can't use it, eh? Okay. This is kind of not a fun area, is it? Because your guy, like, you're so slow. Kind of kind of a perv. Green tea and vodka, really. Kind of is a perv. Yeah, I can see that. I can see Gandhi being a perv. Mm. Well, he slept with. One thing's for like sure. slept with young girls to test his to test his might. Yeah. Oh shit. So this is it. This is like the end of the game. Yeah. So you do the battery ram or you save this motherfucker? I'm honestly neutral. Yep, I don't care. <laughs> so uh, this is up to chat. Save him. You guys cheers. Nah, I fucking abandoned him. Actually, hold on. Wait. Will we move faster carrying Zulf's body than we will carry the Probably. Why didn't you say save? Because because the fucking battering ram battering is so ram, fucking yeah, I gotta slow. Because like frankly, oh, you're oh, even you're even slower. Than Zolf and the other. This wasn't fucking he worth it. A fight. God damn it! Don't you worry though. Once the bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? Yeah, I saw that turbo. So stupid. Uh-oh. Wow, this is rather contrived, isn't it? Hail! I can't even heal. I can't do anything. Nope, you just gotta walk. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I don't know. This is really stupid, though. Oh, God. So why do they have Coldplay involved? Why not? They were abandoned in 2011, weren't they? They were. Not so much anymore, right? Eh? They're around. They're just, you know, selling goop products, probably. Selling goop products? Well, yeah. So why aren't they attacking you now? I don't know. It reminds me of myself when I was his age. I ever tell you about those days? No. What the? Oh, I guess what you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do, is if you take the giant, uh, the giant log, you just go and kill them all on your way out. Yeah. Hey kid. Hey, you're fucked, dude. <laughs> Get up, kid. I don't talk until I've had my coffee. <laughs> Come on, that ain't funny. I say get up. Yeah, also, um, aren't Penn and Teller supposed to be assholes too, even though they're kind of considered really nice? That's more like it. I don't know. Heard about that too. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, you did it. There's something I want you to see. Let's see it. It just pen and teller. Just like it's finished. They reveal the magic trick. Oh god! <laughs> Welcome to the heart of the bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Here's the Zia deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. 
All right. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. You can undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget. All right. Thank you. And what does the girl have to offer us? Always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. Oh, this is so convoluted. Yeah. Zolf only brought more ruin to the Ura. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. Oh, dude. We're a slave chaser. No, the Moo Marshals of Moo Mesa. Oh, fuck. No, do, do you recall, remember, like, like the, the, uh, the, the sheriff's six-star badge? It was used in the 1800s for people who, for like, it was, it, it began not as a policing thing, but as a, as a slave hunting thing. Could it hunt down escaped slaves? Good lord. Yeah, Cab was a moon mesa. I could be any place I wanted. I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. Yep. Pussy wasn't too strong, dude. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Yep. Well, what are you doing? Initiate the Bastion's restoration. Hmm. Ah, let's restore it. Fuck it. No, it wasn't. Fuck oh. the new normal. It sucks. <laughs> it was going to be my choice to do the restoration thing. It's finished. Now sit tight. It'll be over soon. Awesome. No matter what happens next, you done good. You done good. I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment. I'd rather forget. <laughs> this game is pretty forgettable. The Bastion's gonna take us back to a better time. Before any of this, new game plus shows that this doesn't work. Get everything you've done. So we're just rewinding time to try and fix this, and we just do the same thing again because we're idiots. Seems like us. Yep, <laughs> all right. All we've been through, I find that hard to believe. Also, why are you suddenly a girl? Mm. So long, kid. Maybe I'll see it. Zelandia, we're coming home. You know, for all the hype this game had, it was like slightly above average. It's all right. I'm sure us joking and talking through the com through the story didn't help, but the actual gameplay itself, I mean only seem to be slightly above average. Uh -huh. As someone who's actually played it without streaming, I can definitely attest to it being... Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, when I first played it, I thought it was great that there was a narrator like that. And I was like, because because it was like, oh, this is this is new. There's a narrator that actually, you know, goes through the game with you. And now it's been 10 years of that. And it's been 10 years of meta, meta bullshit. And yes. now this is just tired. Kind of like Demon Souls' clunkiness compared to Dark Souls 3 and Blood, Bloodborne. Yeah, because they, they took this this style and made games with much tighter controls. And, and, and yeah, yeah, and they made Transistor and Hades, yep. so... Yeah. Wasn't bad when it was new. Yeah, no, I can see that. No, no. It was, it was, it was, it was, I, I in remember my opinion, thinking, like, this is decent. Okay. In, in my opinion, a game that is truly good, though, is good no matter what era you play it in. And there are some games that are like that. Chrono Trigger is one of them. That game is good no matter when you play it. I'm not sure about this music though. People love it in the chat. One person. Yeah, see? Lots of people. 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 The in-game music is, is good. Yeah. So. What's next on the docket? We'll talk about it on the post show. And actually, we as a post show it now, huh? Mm. 
Yeah. Yep. Because I mean, I don't know about you, my kind of thing. I don't want to go to bed. Yeah. We did one, Caven. We just beat the game. Yup, yup, yup. Yeah, everyone loved Bioshock Infinite when it came out. Now everyone hates it. It's not so good. Infinite's not that good, to be I honest. I mean, I, I liked it when I, I... I haven't played it since it came out, to be honest. Which was, like, what, 2012? 2012 or 2013. Yeah. I think it was 2013. Yeah. Brown. See, there you go. There's the, uh, the, the, the slide cutter. Wow, wow. Alright, next. We're gonna talk about that on the post show. Yup. And in fact, let's do the post show now. That was Bastion. Not a bad game. Probably better when it came out. Oh yeah. I probably should have listened to you when you said we'll play it back in 2012. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -ba 